City officials spent part of the afternoon touring Tulsa, but probably not in the way you think. There were no tour buses or vans, just their two feet and a bicycle. Two News reporter Brandon Richard is live in downtown with more. Well, Marla, Tulsans who walk or ride a bike often complain about the conditions they encounter on the roads. Today, city officials got a close-up look for themselves. Most people in Tulsa are used to getting around on four wheels. But a growing number of folks believe two wheels and their own two feet are even better. Getting around the city on bike or by walking is actually a fun and practicable way to get around. Stephen Lassiter is a Tulsa cyclist and chairman of the Bicycle Pedestrian Advisory Committee. The committee spends time educating, evaluating, and providing input to the public as well as to city officials about bicycle and pedestrian issues. Bicycling and, and walking are great ways to get around Tulsa, and uh, we're just trying to improve those conditions in Tulsa. Which is why he invited Tulsa City Councilors to go along with him on a tour of Tulsa Sunday. She rides a lot more than Granny does. <laughs> we wanted them to get like kind of a first-hand experience of what it's like out there. Start heading that way. One group took a walking tour, but the majority decided to hop on a bike instead. Councilor Jeannie Q says she takes a spin every now and then. Probably in my neighborhood to show my kids I can still ride. <laughs> so not as much as I should, but I totally support bicycling. Councilor Karen Gilbert feels the same way. I'm hoping to raise some awareness about the, the lack of um, sidewalks and, uh, and trails here in, in the city of Tulsa. And that's the kind of understanding cyclists hope city officials will have later this year. Our committee is working on recommendations to, to improve the conditions for bicyclists and pedestrians. So we're going to be uh, coming back to the council here later this summer and presenting those recommendations. And that tour happened at a pretty convenient time. Next week is National Bike to Work Week. Reporting live in downtown, Brandon Richard, 2 News, works for you.